Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out my brand new M4 class setup in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get this video to 40 likes. I'd highly appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. So jumping straight into the first attachment over on the optic, I'm using the Cronin Mini Pro. You can go with the iron sights, but personally, I only like the iron sights whenever you use a certain barrel and we are not using that today. So over on the optic tuning, I'm going with negative 2.32 ounces for in mount sight speed and the eye position all the way over or close. Over on the rear grip, I'm using a Seiken ZX grip for recoil control and the cons are aiming stability. I personally don't have trouble controlling the recoil, but for the sake of this class setup, we're going to be going with this. Over on the tuning, I'm going with 0.58 ounces for recoil steadiness and negative 0.36 inches for sprint to fire speed. Over on the underbarrel, I'm going with the FTAC Ripper 56 for aiming auto stability, hip fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. The cons are walking speed and aimed on sight speed. For the tuning, I went with 0.62 ounces for recoil stabilization and 0.30 inches for aiming auto sway. I think I said aiming auto sway or aiming auto stability. Okay, on the muzzle, I'm using the FJX Fulcrum Pro for vertical recoil control and horizontal. The cons are aimed on sight speed and aiming stability. And with the tuning, I'm going with 0.59 ounces for recoil stabilization and 0.25 inches for recoil control. Over on the barrel, I'm using the 419 millimeter EXF barrel for damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. The cons are aimed on sight speed with hip recoil control. And over on the tuning, I'm going with 0.39 pounds for recoil steadiness and 0.31 inches for damage range. I was mainly building this class setup out for people that struggle with recoil on the M4. So if this helps, let me know down in the comments. I have a crazy gameplay. I ended up dropping, let's see. I ended up dropping 85 kills with the MGB. So if you enjoy that, let me know with a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, we're going to be using the M4 today. I accidentally picked the wrong gun. What's that guy doing? Come turn around. And four just kills so quick. Oh. Yeah, good luck, bud. What's this guy doing? Sprint speed on this game is so bad. On a good little 25. Let's just run at him.
There's some GP. Didn't even mean to pick up another gun. Now that I have the MGB, I basically won the game. So I could just run around, do whatever I want. We got hit with a fadeaway. Wish there was a way like you could put the MGP in like a different spot. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> what did I just do? What are you doing in the spawn? Oh, we're here.
Like after I die one more time, I'm gonna go ahead and call this nuke in. Or if the score gets close, whatever comes first. No way. All right, bro. <laughs> I guess whatever you got to do to kill me. 85 kills. It's the M4, though. This, this thing is... I can't believe they didn't nerf this to the ground. But... GG's regardless. Yeah.